Hi, this is a brief story about Atlas and what it can do. The Atlas 6 system is a comprehensive self-service and end-user reporting and upload framework that allows you to consume your business information in a variety of software platforms. You can mix and match information from many data sources, such as Microsoft Dynamics AX, CRM, SQL Database and OLAP Cubes. You can think of Atlas as a reporting system as well as an upload system. With over 3,000 sites worldwide, Atlas is an accepted and valued product. To demonstrate, let's look at using the table reporting feature to include information about customers from AX, Cubes and CRM. When we've done that, we'll use an upload template to adjust the credit limit. So firstly, I'm going to include a list of customers and I'm going to choose that report from a snippet library. And snippets are saved reports. I drag and drop it onto my workbook and you can see a list of customers. So clicking merge allows me to include data from other data sources. In this case I'm going to use the open customer transactions because I'd like to see a customer balance for each record in my list. I'll choose the amount so I've got customer account and amount, and now I need to link my report to the report that's in the spreadsheet. I don't want to show the customer account. I want to make sure my amounts are aggregated. And I want to change the name from amount to be open to reflect the nature of the, the column. When I click merge, my open balances appear against each customer. I've clicked Merge again, and this time I want to include data from a sales cube. I want to include the invoice amount and the gross profit margin. So I choose the customer invoices table, and again I've got to do some linking, so I'll be linking on customer account. And then I'll search for my amounts, so in this case the invoice amount and the gross profit figure. Having selected those, the first thing I do is to link the two reports. I don't want to show that and I want to rename my second column so that it reads invoice amount. Now, because it's in a cube, I do need to filter. So I'm going to filter on company, in this case USMF. I can choose from a list, but I've just chosen to type that in. And when I click on Merge, those two columns will appear. So now the report contains data from AX um, and from a sales cube. Finally, I just want to include my CRM opportunities. My account number is the same as my customer account. I want to include the estimated revenue. From my, from my sales pipeline. Again, link the two reports. And in this case, again, I don't want to show the account number column. And I want to aggregate my amounts. Merge, and that's included my information from my CRM system. Just format this. Let's say I want to add a drill down. Our drill downs are, are a central part of Atlas. From here we can uh, look at the transactions uh, that make up the particular balance and so forth. In this case, I want to look at the invoices that are associated with uh, the customer account. And also, I'd like to see um, the purchases made by that customer in terms of the sales categories. So I have a predefined presentation, there it's called Sidebar, I just apply that. And as I move up and down my list, you can see the Sidebar drill down changing to show the information that I require. Atlas is a two-way system, so we can update AX as well as report from it. In this case here, I'm just changing some numbers on the credit limit column. What I'll do then is to attach an upload template which looks at the customer account column and the credit limit column um, and we'll make a change in AX. 
Let's click on Upload. You'll notice there's no templates. I'm just choosing a new one. Update existing records, which means I'm editing them. I give it a title. And I know I have a snippet available to you, so I'm going to use that. on run. That list will then go and use the data in that report to upload, upload into AX. In this case, 30 records have been affected. Not only do we have table reporting, we have single cell functions where we use an Excel um, formula function. And in this case, I have a balance sheet changing the years there to 2012. And each one of the cells in the report here has an Atlas formula function. Similarly, you can use Atlas in PowerPoint. I'm using a parameter sheet here to change the customer code. So I've got a different perspective on each um, account. And you can use it inside Word. Again, there's Atlas functions in here to give me a balance and also to select individual customers. So this is like a dynamic Word document. I change the customer account and the balances change. We like to think the success of Atlas is built on four things. It's familiar, it's convenient, accurate, and secure.